No one can make an intelligent decision without being properly informed. This is why this world wants to control the media. This is why media hype can take you up, take you down. So you don't know anymore who's really good because the media can make a wicked man look good and make a good man look evil. That is why. This until the dawn, I can't quit. I'm like Saddam, keeping my eye on Clinton, watching each move he makes. Cause every slither he takes sort of reminds D. The Messiah of the Christians. As you know, you will hear things that sound a little different. But as you know, messengers have come before. And must messengers have been sent to people. And people did not receive them warmly. All messengers that came were mocked and laughed at because the people did not know God sent them. We have Moses, who Pharaoh laughed at, and the people laughed at him. And he said, who sends you when I'm in control? He said, God sent me. And God told him to tell him, I am who I am. But you know Moses had a partner, and his name was Aaron. So Aaron went with Pharaoh, with Moses to Pharaoh. But as you know, we have one that represents that Moses. And the one I'm talking about is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Christ, the eternal leader of the nation of Islam. This one has come, as the scripture says, to teach us all things and things to come. And he has done that. He has taught us things that people look at us and laugh at us just like they did the people of Moses. He taught us how to eat to live. He taught us where to go and what to say. But as you know, he had to leave. As the scripture says, Elijah must come first and he did. But he said, I must leave because the comforter must come. And that comforter that I am talking about is the one that is teaching us. For if it was not for him, I would not be here. I would not know the truth of the scriptures of the Bible and the Holy Quran. I am still a student Come on. and still learning yes, about this truth that was brought to us by these two great men. But as you know, the one that I am talking about who taught me is the leader of the nation of Islam. He is our guide, our teacher, and, and our mercy. Right. Because if it wasn't for him, God's judgment would have already come. Yes, sir. The one I'm talking sir. about is the honorable minister, Louis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. And in these great men's name, I greet all of you in the greeting words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language, of assalamu alaikum as you know that might sound a little foreign to us especially for those that are new but that is the greeting that jesus gave when he met the disciples he said peace be unto you those are the words that we just recited so as i say again peace be unto you yes sir, yes, sir. in the nation of islam <clears throat> you will hear things and things to come but the things that did come is confusion and murder and death and people shooting each other. But in the nation of Islam, we prevent things from happening here in this building. So we have a check procedure. I hope none of you were offended by that check procedure because I was also checked. And when I first came to the mosque, I said, why are these brothers checking me? Uh, but you know, uh, you know it, it's for your safety right. as well as ours. Sad, sad. It's for your safety as well as ours. We want you to feel safe 
So nobody gonna run in here with a gun. Okay, Ain't nobody sir. gonna bust through the door without being checked at the front door. Right. Sure that man at the front door is right. the number one security <laughs> man right now today. So if anything happens to you and your children, we'll go look for him if it does. Right, right. right. But I know that nothing will happen to you because of his training. We are trained into this Islam to see everything and to hear things that was prophesied to come. But as you see, men sit on this side and our beautiful queens sit on this other side. That's right. We separate the genders because when you're next to your spouse, when you hear something profound, you always look to them and you start talking with each other. Uh, but we don't want you to miss anything. Right. So we separate you so that you can get the full message. Yes, as you know, in the Nation of Islam, I have before me the flag of Islam. That's right. As we look at this flag, well, I'm not going to mess with the flag. <laughs> but if you were to look at this flag, it has letters on it. Freedom, a J, I mean an F. Justice, a J. E for equality and I for Islam. For all those three first letters represent Islam. When you look at this flag, you see a red color. You see a moon and a star. Come on. They all have meanings. For the red is the sun that touches everyone, whether you're wicked or right. Right. And that's the freedom right. that's right. of God. His wisdom touches everyone. But you will hear today things that we should not do and things that we should do. For messengers have come and the people rejected them. Now we have messengers that are here and he has raised ministers in this city come on. of Denver, Colorado. This messenger is bad. He has <laughs> profound words. I mean everything that he touches grows. So he has the wisdom and the knowledge of God to be so successful, for God makes those who believe and do right successful. That's right. right. This brother that I am talking about will say something that would open your ears. And after you hear him, he would open your mouth. And he will make the deaf see and the blame walk. So this man I am bringing before you is our representative, my minister, student, minister. Herman Muhammad. Yeah. Please, can we keep it going for Brother David? All the praise is due to Allah. Let us first start by saying, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. As students of religion, as citizens on this wonderful planet that we call Earth, we thank Allah for all of his messengers, all of his prophets, all of his great ones, and all of the messages that they brought. So we thank Allah for Abraham and Moses and Noah and Lot and the divine revelation of the Torah or the Old Testament. We thank Allah for Jesus and his apostles and the divine revelation of the Injil or the New Testament, the gospel. We thank Allah for Prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah of Arabia and the divine revelation of the Holy Quran. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon each and every one of these worthy servants of his. As students of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, we are forever indebted to Allah for his coming to us and intervening in our affairs. And when I say our affairs, I'm talking about black people right here in the hill Come on now. of North America. Yes, That's right. Sir. I got to yes, make it plain. Come on, sir. <laughs> For he came 9,000 miles to seek and to save that which was lost. Yes, sir. Which was you and I. That's right. 
And upon his arrival, he found one, a Georgia-born black man who only went to the fourth grade of school. And he gave him a wisdom that was so profound that this fourth grade educated brother from the South, <laughs> from the deep South, yes, sir. was able to raise up a nation unlike any that the world has ever seen. That's right. He is the messenger of Allah, but more importantly, he's so much bigger than that. He is the exalted Christ. That's right. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if I live to be a thousand, I could never thank Allah enough for leaving one as a reminder, not that God had come and we missed him, but that God is actually present and in the world. That's yes, sir. He's a beautiful black man, an example of a man. Come on. A father to many of us who never had one. That's mm -hmm. right. He is the national representative of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I'm striving my best to represent him today. He is the Honorable Minister Louis Farr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it is, it is in their names that we greet you in the nation's greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum. How's everyone feeling? Fine, sir. To all praises due to Allah. I too am confined by Allah's grace, striving to make my word my bond. Um, for those of you who are here for your first, second, and third time, we just want to be clear on a few things. Um, we're not here to make mockery. Come on now. That's right nor to entertain. We're here to give you something that will be enlightening, something that will possibly educate you, something that will enlighten you, some, enlighten you, something that will edify you, something that hopefully, God willing, will inspire you. We're here to give you something that hopefully after hearing it, can actually help to make you better. Come on yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every day that we live, we should strive to be better than what we were yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you're going to a place of spirituality, of religion, you should go to a place that actually helps you in that process. Come on now. That's right. If the preacher is standing up, hooping, and hollering, spitting and slobbering, and ain't saying nothing. Right. Don't go there, no. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Let him be. Oh, come on now. Let him do his thing. Let That's him right. entertain. What am I going to Slide down. Slide down. Slide down. Some slide down. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let him do his thing. But you want to go somewhere where you can actually get something. Thank you, sister. Um, and so that's our intention today. Um, we do place these messages on YouTube, the ones that don't get banned. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we also place them on our website, noidenver.org. Yes, sir. And so if you'd like to, we've got a bunch of things going on in Denver. You can find out all of that on noidenver.org. Sure. Um, but if you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Yes. Um, the subject today, oh, I want to say this too. Make sure that you get this latest edition of the Final Call newspaper. The Final Call newspaper is the most widely circulated black-owned and operated newspaper on the planet and also serves as the communications organ for the nation of Islam. It is news that you can use. It is news that just isn't news, it actually is divine revelation. This newspaper, like unlike any other newspaper in the world, can actually contains the word of God. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. I gotta say that. Come on. And so it, it's very distinguished. So grab that issue of the Final Call newspaper. Our subject, comes, we're going we're gonna to go in and out of the paper today because our subject is inspired by the paper. Oh. It's entitled, Sign mm -hmm. of the Times, Come on now. Confusion Plaguing Men and Nations. Mm -hmm. Come on. Signs of the Times, 
confusion plaguing men and nations. And this picture actually appears in the Final Call newspaper. Um, it's a storm, a uh, tornado that ravaged, uh, let me make sure I got the city correct, ran through Rolling Fork, Mississippi on March 27th. And if you have not been watching the news, you know, a lot of us don't because it's just so depressing. Come on, yes. that's what they said. So Storms <laughs> have been tearing this country apart. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Go ahead. In Florida, man, they got so much rain in Fort Lauderdale that they had to shut the airport down. That's right. They had to rescue, you know what I mean, tens of hundreds of people. Um, because it, all over the all over all over the country and really all over the world but particularly the country the weather is ravaging this country yes sir, right. yes, sir. and it's not because of El Nino no sir no sir or La Nina no, no sir or global warning no sir no sir <laughs> it is because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that Allah, God, is judging Come on, this man. country. That's right. Today. That's right. Today. That's right. Today. That's right. <laughs> We're in it. Now, this subject is so timely because this is what's happening. There is confusion plaguing men and nations, right? Yes, sir. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that once we were brought here, because America is under divine judgment, it is under divine judgment, believe it or not, because of what this country has done to you and me. That's right. Sir. Come on. That's come on. Make play. I'm going to say that again. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because a lot of times we don't think that we're valuable. We don't think that we were anything. Come on, man. Come on, right? Oh, man, that nigga, he ain't nothing. Yeah. Ain't that what we say? That's, That's right. right. Yeah. But that nigga is not a nigga at all. Come on, man. That's right. Hey, that right. nigga really is the beloved of God. Come on, That's man. Right. And even That's though right. you might think that he ain't nothing, yeah. God thinks that he's everything. Say that. Come on, right. Yes, yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. We have been tried. We have been uh, burned in the furnace of affliction. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. So much so that God has decided to come after us. That's right. Man. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that once we were brought here in the halls of ships. That's right. Because we weren't brought here, of course, on the Nina, the Pinta, or right. the Santa Maria. We weren't born here on the, brought here on the Mayflower. We not, um, how do they call us uh, now? They ch they changing the history. Involuntary, involuntary immigrants. <laughs> involuntary immigrants. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no! <laughs> we were brought here in the holes of ships. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And once we were brought here, of course, we lost everything. Everything. We lost our folkways, our mores, our culture, our religion, our God. We lost our mind. Come on now. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And nothing has been done, brothers and sisters, by those who caused this damage to repair it. Come on, sir. Nothing. Nothing. In fact, if you ask them for reparations, brother Ahmad. Come on, man. Come on, man. They look at you like you lost your mind. Yeah. Come on, not giving you no money. Are you serious? I speak truth. Right. Everybody else has received reparations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. And they haven't they haven't sacrificed nearly as much as we've sacrificed. Oh Is that right? Yes, they sir. haven't given everything. Go ahead. Go ahead. We gave everything. Yes, sir. They took everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, y'all all right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the beautiful thing about it, the beautiful thing about it, is God says in the scripture, we lost everything, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
he says, not only to us, but also to the enemy, that as you have done, come on now, so, so shall it be it done, done. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go unto go you. Go ahead, right. sir. Get him. Give me that. I get him. So God <laughs> is tearing this country up. Yes, sir. And they are going to lose everything. everything. Come on. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. 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 Everything and you and me are going to be put on top. That's, That's right, right, sir. Where we belong. Praise That's right. right. Oh, praise. Go ahead. Oh, praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, in the scriptures, we're given signs. Mm. Now, a sign, we're going to do some definition. We want to we do some word clearing because there's nothing worse than talking about something and you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Just be up here saying stuff. Right? But a sign, there are many definitions to this word sign, right? But we picked out one. Just for the, the sake of, of this lecture. An object, quality, or event whose presence or occurrence indicates the probable presence or occurrence of something else. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. Yes, sir. An object, quality, or an event whose presence or occurrence indicates the probable presence or occurrence of something else. Yes, sir. So, in the Bible, we are given... Many stories, parables, uh, histories, but a lot of these stories and the parables, histories, are signs of that which is the That's case. right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so as an example, just the most simplest example, if you're riding down the highway and you see a sign that says McDonald's, Yes, sir. Two miles. Oh. You don't stop at the sign. <laughs> yes, sir. You shouldn't stop at McDonald's anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not going to stop at the sign. You're going to keep going two miles until you get to the actual thing. Yes, sir. Okay. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that the scripture, particularly the Bible, is... 75% prophecy. prophecy, only 25% history. history. So when you read about many, most, all of these prophets and these great ones in the scripture, sometimes you're reading about an actual historic figure. However, most times, three quarters of the times, you're reading about somebody who's coming down the line. That's right. Uh, That's right. right. Go ahead. So, when the enemy brought us here, he buried us. I don't have my Bible up here. But he literally, it's okay. He literally buried us, not in the Bible. Come on now, come on now. But he buried us in the white man's interpretation mm. of the Bible. That's right. Yes. That's, right. That's, right. Yes. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. This is over now because one of the things that once we were brought here and robbed of is you didn't have the ability to read. That's you didn't have the ability to write. Uh, you didn't even have the ability to speak your own language. That's right. That's right. You didn't have paper. So everything that we learned of the Bible, it was something that Massa taught us yes. of the Bible. Yes. So that's why we act like So we're buried in it, thinking that some blonde-haired, blue-eyed white man at the end of time, at some point, is going to be merciful enough to come and save us from our miserable condition. Yeah. From another white man. Go another ahead. white man. Go go ahead. Ahead. When it was a blonde haired, blue eyed yeah. white man. Yeah. Yeah. Who put us yeah. in the Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So we're sitting up there hoping, based upon what the enemy told us. Come on now. Yeah. That's a cold trick. Trick not a oof. I just thought about that. That's a cold yeah, that trick. That is a cold <laughs> trick. Uh, yes, sir. 
the man take everything from you, give you a religion, and then you believe in the one that he taught you about. Now. That's right. Yes, sir. That's a cold trick. Beat it in your head. Boost mm -hmm. yeah. But here's the thing about the Bible. Because you can you can read it and uh, you can get caught up in it. And what I mean by caught up in it is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the enemy, when he had translated it out of his out of its original tongue, out of its original language, that he put all sorts of snares mm -hmm. and traps. That's in right. It. Yes, sir. And that we really needed someone who could guide us on, through now. the scripture. That's right. And help us to see what was actually in there, the truth of it, in its proper perspective. Yes, sir. So that we could see that which was a sign and that which had already actually happened. That's right. That's right. Come on now. Now, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, in his uh, in this article in the Final Call newspaper, on page twenty, and the minister's article always appears on page twenty. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad's article always appears on page nineteen in every issue of the Final Call newspaper. But what he tells us is that he points out a scripture. It's this one. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> This is in the book of Matthew. And this is Jesus actually talking. 2,000 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Oh. Now, what is he talking about? All these things. What Jesus was talking about with regards to all these things, he was talking about the judgment yes, sir. of God. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Come on. yes, sir. He talked about in the book of Matthew how uh, during this time you would, you would, you would uh, see wars and rumors of yes, wars, yes, sir. Yes, sir. famines and pestilence yes, and earthquakes yes, in diverse yes, places. Yes, sir. But in this uh, particular scripture, he says, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, we know, I mean, 2,000 years has been and gone. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yes, sir. And a generation, right. according to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, is anywhere from 20 to 30 years. That's right. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, if it didn't pass, come to pass 2,000 years ago, what does it mean by a generation? How can we decipher that generation piece. Well, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan says this. Surely this prophecy could not have been talking about the time of Jesus the prophet. That this quote unquote generation shall not pass till all these things are fulfilled. Well, when you check what a generation is according to the dictionary, it's a span of 30 years. And if we calculate how many times 30 goes into 2,000. Come on now. The answer is 66.666 66. 66. Mm. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. One time. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you calculate how many times 30 goes into 2,000, the answer is 66.6. Six six times. Does that number ring a bell? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. It's the number of the beast. Come on now. And the hour of his destruction has come. Yes, sir. See the generation. See Jesus said it. He was pointing to it, but it's being fulfilled. Right now. Right now. That's right. right. Go ahead. Right now. Right now. Right now. Go ahead. Right now. 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 Right
right in this book. Mm -hmm. Mine's a little beat up, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 yeah I was supposed to look. Um, <laughs> this is one of the first ones. Praise be to Allah. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad writes in this book, The Fall of America, Fire. Mm -hmm. Four Great Judgments of America. Sure. Chapter 36. But when you read it, it reads just like the newspaper today. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Come on now. It reads just like the newspaper today. I'm going to give you an example. Mm -hmm. Give you an example. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read from chapter. Okay. <laughs> America surrounded with the judgment of Allah. The four great judgments that Almighty Allah God is bringing upon America are rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes. We see them now covering all sides of America as the Holy Quran prophecies, curtailing her on all her sides. Come on now. Let me go back to some. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. <laughs> curtailing her on all her sides. And these judgments would push the people into the center of the country, and there they would realize that it is Allah God who is bringing them and their country to a knot. That's right. Now he says so many things about uh, America being curtailed, that everyone being driven to the center. And you and I, if we've been in Denver for any amount of time, and I've been in Denver all my life, sir. You see an influx of people that's right. coming Come into Colorado. That's right, that's right. Where are they coming from? California. New York. New York. New York. New York. Philadelphia. Miami. You know what I mean? They're coming from all these different places that's where right. the coastlines are, are really being destroyed. Yeah. yeah. And right. the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said that he wouldn't buy no property on no right. coastline no in coastline. America. Mm -hmm. Because we're all being driven inside. Now, that's the newspaper, right? But here's the article. <clears throat> Allah God's weapons of weather. The South and the U.S. slammed by more dangerous storms. Now, man, this is where we at. This is where we at. Let me just read a little bit. As of... Okay, I'm gonna just, let, me, let me start from the beginning. Okay, U.S. territory, U.S. territory is still recovering from hundreds of tornadoes. Did you hear me? Hundreds. <laughs> hundreds. Brace for more extreme weather in the days to come. According to AccuWeather, there were nearly a dozen tornadoes in the Midwest April 4th into the 5th, which left at least six dead, 22 tornadoes hit Indiana alone on March 31 and April 1st, according to the National Weather Service. Five people died and 11 were injured. In Bollinger County, Missouri, it looked as if, quote unquote, an angry giant stomped, stomped through overnight, crushing homes and twisting trees. After a tornado touchdown reported the Weather Channel on April 4th. That same day, several fresh tornadoes were reported in Iowa and Illinois. Hmm. In Kelowna, Illinois, about 80 miles southeast of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, a tornado ripped the roof from a gas station and uprooted trees, according to the Weather Service. Mm. So it goes on and on and on and on about the weather that is happening, again, right now. Right now. <laughs> and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, see, I didn't say this, but I'm going to say it now. Mm. This book was published in 1973. That's right. Go ahead. Uh-oh. Come on, brother. 1973, yet it reads like the newspaper. Yeah, Come on, that's now. right. Yes, sir. Showing that, man, God is always on time. Yes, he yes, is. Sir. Always. Y'all all right? Yes, yes, sir. There's so much going on. 
Because this, this book, The Fall of America, is where it's at. Yes, now, right. it's I, I always like to introduce, it, it's always a pleasure to introduce this cat into my presentation. Last Trump. Oh, Donnie Trump. Donnie Don, Don Trump got some work to do. That's yes, right. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God. <laughs> and here's what's happening, family. Donald Trump, y'all know, a week or two ago, mm -hmm. the news goes so fast now. Yes, yeah. it does. Was indicted <laughs> on 34 felony counts. That's right. <laughs> Yep. 34, 34. Count. 34. <laughs> now you <laughs> and me, if we undied it on 34 Boy, counts, so it's, a rat. it's a rat. They're giving us the chair, man. <laughs> I mean, we got one felony against first felony count that we facing, man. I'm nervous. I'm you know what I mean, I'm not sleeping good at night. Come on now. Yeah. That's <laughs> This dude show up, you know what I'm saying, with a with a motorcade that's bigger than the current president's. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Says a lot. Says a whole lot. Says a lot. Because in truth, as it stands right now, he's still he's president. still the president. He's running. He got the people. That's all it takes. Think about it. He got 34 felony counts, yet he still is the front runner in the Republican, Republican Party. Party. That's right. Oh, you want me to go ahead? Go ahead. He got 34 felony counts, yet he still, still. controls the Republican Party. Come on now. Ooh. He got 34 felony counts, but none of his uh, Republican contenders or competitors to say anything bad about him. That's right. Say, say something. That's right. <laughs> 34 felony counts. Man. And he go to court and say, man, ain't none of these counts don't stick. <laughs> That's what he said. None of them. And even the pundits are like, yeah, these charges are weak. They should have charged him with the stuff in yeah. uh, in Atlanta or right. you know what I mean? Right. Some of the other right. stuff. This, this little stuff that they got on him right now is real weak, real yes, weak sir. case. So he's saying it's not gonna stand up. But all of this, brothers and sisters, if I could suggest this to you, all this is political thing. That's right. Okay, that's right. All this is a distraction. That's right. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's really going on? What's really going on? What's really going on? Because what's really going on is the fall of America. Go ahead, brother. The fall of America. Go ahead. What's really going on, and this is in the final call of this paper, too. Y'all got to get that paper. I'm telling you. <laughs> this is the greatest. Oh, yes. That was, oh, yes. Because at the same time, mm -hmm. the number one enemy. Oh, I don't need nobody for this round. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Sure. Go ahead. They chief enemies. Vladimir Putin and, and my brother, the president of China. Xi. President Xi. <laughs> president Xi. Yes, sir. They're meeting on dropping the U.S. Stop. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's all. They're meeting on, they call it the de dollarization. De dollarization. I never even heard that word. <laughs> <laughs> the de dollarization yes, of the world's economy. Wow. Yes, sir. The world's Come on. economy. Come on. Take it now. Go ahead. I want that fake money no longer. <laughs> Fiat money. Fiat. And if. If they drop the dollar, and you're talking about China, who is the world's largest manufacturer. Right? Mm -hmm. Chinese. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything comes from China. Everything comes from China. Yeah. yeah. Even if they say it's from America. Really, it was made in China. Yeah, it was made in China. But they're talking about dropping the U.S. dollar. from, And that means in, in trading and manufacturing. That means oil sales. Remember, that's why uh, 
the U.S. under Brother Obama yeah, and that yeah. uh, demon Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. went and killed our brother Muammar Gaddafi. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Because he was talking about dropping the U.S. Yeah. dollars yeah. Right. and using gold dinars yeah. to trade for oil. Yeah. yeah. They weren't going to take dollars no more. Yeah. yeah. So America, that's their pattern. Y'all, uh, y'all watch it. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan already said it, so I ain't got to say it, but I'm going to say it again. That they will be in war. They're already at war. I'm not going to say they're going to be in. They're already at war. They're already in a proxy war with China. That's right. Now. Already with uh, Vladimir Putin and Russia because they're the ones who are supplying the Ukraine. That's right. Go with ahead. With their weapons. That's right. Yes, sir. You and I can't get no reparations. <laughs> Talk about it. Bro. Ukraine yes. can get some weapons. But Ukraine can get some weapons. Lord, that's right. Come Send on. It to, to them Twenty billion dollars. Mm. 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 They still giving uh, Israel three, four billion dollars annually. Mm. As a welfare state, yeah. but we can't get no reparations. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. the country. That's Lord, crazy. That you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, brother. Right. Look, man. You're <laughs> this thing is over. Yes, sir. You got they call them the the the, the brick countries. You got Brazil, um, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. We all got together and said we're not gonna deal with the U.S. dollar anymore. Make real money. We're gonna make a real currency. That's backed by gold. Back yes, sir. Gold. Now, anybody who's the follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, what did he say that the future currency would be? Gold. Gold. Praise be to Allah. Man. Look, in the backdrop of all this happening, family, y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. It's you and me. It's you and me. Still lingering. <laughs> lingering. Still lingering. Not knowing what to do. Waiting on Jesus to come save us. Is that right? Yes, sir. Right, sir. Many of our people, that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on white, sweet white Jesus to come save us. <laughs> sweet white Jesus to come, but he's not coming. Nope. You know, he exists. He just not. 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 He just Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and we talked about this a little bit um, last week, but we're going to go into it a little bit more. Jesus, according to the Quran, Jesus and his mother, mother. Yeah. were a son. Yes, sir. And I said that uh, succinctly last week that they were a sign of black people. Yes, sir. Right here in the other North America. Yes, sir. A sign. They're a sign of men. There's at least four Jesuses, according yes, to the honor. Yes, mm -hmm. But one of them is black people. That's mm -hmm. right. Jesus and his mother. Now, we have a scripture in the Holy Quran, which is the book of scripture of the Muslim. And if you uh, don't have one, get a Quran. Uh, the Muslims, we're definitely required to read this during this holy month of Ramadan. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Kareem, sir. sir. But there's a, there's a scripture that deals with Mary, and it is called uh, Mariam. Mm. It's the 19th surah, or the 19th chapter of the Holy Quran. And it goes like this. And this is a story, and then I'm going to tell you how this... How this uh, relates to black people. So, she screened herself from them. Then, we sent her, our spirit, and it appeared to her as a well-made man. She said, 
And she's talking to this well-made man. Mm -hmm. I flee for refuge from thee to the beneficent. If thou art one guarding against evil. He said, I am only a bearer of a message from thy Lord. That I will give thee a pure boy. She said, how can I have a son and no mortal has touched me? Hmm. Nor have I been unchaste. He said, so it will be. Thy Lord says, it is easy to me. And that we may make him a sign to men. There go that word sign again. And the mercy from us. And the matter is decreed. Now, I want you all to look at this scripture. And then think about what I said about history and prophecy. I want you to look at this scripture because this is a, this is a scripture that is dealing with um, Mary's conception. Mary, of course, the story is, and we just celebrated Resurrection Sunday or Easter Sunday last weekend. The story of Mary is that she had, uh, 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 she conceived uh, Jesus without the agency of a man. That it was a, an immaculate conception. Now you and I, <laughs> we, we all know that if a woman is impregnated, there has to be the presence of a man. Yes. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's, right. Right. that's, that's right. right. That's right. This is what I'm going to tell y'all that God don't do. Are y'all ready? Yes. Something that God don't do. Probably the only thing that God can't do. Mm. <laughs> wow. He can't lie. That's right. That's one. Mm -hmm. That's two. Mm -hmm. The other thing that God cannot do is break his own law. Come on now. Yeah. Right. Go, ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> How is he going to uh, tell you and me to obey the law yes, when he breaks it himself? Yes, Go ahead. You can't be a hypocrite. You, you hear what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. sir. So, Mary, in this, in this uh, 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 verse of the Quran, the Quran verifies the truth that's in the Bible. That's right. I'm going to say that again. Yes. The Quran verifies the truth that is in the Bible. Yes, sir. So, when this angel comes to Mary, this is Allah who said, then we sent her our spirit and it appeared as a well-made man. That is the agency by which she was impregnated. <laughs> See, because further down he says, under 19, he said, under 19. That's nice. God's man, number. beautiful number. Yes, sir. He said, I am only a bearer of a message from thy Lord, that I will give thee a pure boy. Did, did y'all catch yes. that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. And that's exactly what he did. <laughs> now that angel, according to the honorable uh, Elijah Muhammad, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, is Joseph. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes. Man, I mean, God is real. Come on now. Yes, sir. <laughs> but how does that relate to black people? Sense, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that black people are married. Mm. Come on now. In that God's pattern is always the same. Yes, sir. Whenever a people are lost, whenever a people are destroyed, whenever a, a people are off the straight path of God, what he does because he cares about the people. Yes, sir. Is he raises one from amongst that people. Yes, sir. And sends that one as a messenger, as a prophet, to give the people a word that will put them back yes, sir. on the straight path. That's yes, right. Plain and simple. So, 
if a people has never received a messenger, mm -hmm. then that people are a virgin people. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, yes sir. sir. So we, all that suffering that we talked about earlier, everything that we lost, what we would turn into being uh, uh, brought from gods and kings and queens all the way down to being a nigga. Yes, sir. Whoa. Nothing. Being reduced to absolutely nothing. Come on. That's us. We couldn't name a prophet of God who had been sent to us. Come on now. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Not one. So look. So in the scripture, <laughs> remember, Jesus and his mother were a sign. We said our spirit. That's God talking. Mm -hmm. If God says he sends our spirit, then that spirit actually is God. That's yes, right. I'm going to say that again. Go ahead. Yes, sir, brother. Go ahead, <laughs> back, back. Yes, if sir. God says he's going to, we <laughs> sent her our spirit, then that spirit is actually God. That's right. And it appeared to her as a well-made man. God is man. So look, so what happened to us is God sent our spirit and it appeared in the person of a well-made man whose name was Master Fard Muhammad. Come on now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. God in person. Mm. <laughs> well, Make it plain. And to this people, Make look, plain. he said, I'm going to give you a boy. <laughs> Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm going to give you a boy, a pure boy. Mm. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Brother. A pure boy. That's who it is. Man. Are y'all all right? Yes, sir. A pure boy. Come on now. Can't get no pure. When did I ask? What? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad only went to the fourth grade, grade of school. Of school. Mm -hmm. No white man knew him. I praise be to Allah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. He didn't have high school yeah. and college yeah. and technical school training and being under this white man and that white well, man. Is. Is. None of that. Oh, so-called education. He didn't have none of that. Yes, sir. None of that. He was a pure boy. Yes, sir. Come on now. Make it plain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. Good teaching, bro. Good teaching, bro. Good teaching. No one had touched us. So, we, once we get down to the end, <laughs> that Lord says, it's easy to me that we may make him a sign <laughs> to men and a mercy from us. And the matter is the creed. See, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is that pure boy. Yes. He is that Jesus boy. Yes. Yes. We are that virgin people who produce. That's right. This Jesus boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who would grow up, man. To be the exalted Christ. Yes, sir. Are y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Man. Oh, praise I do to Allah. That's who we are, family. Mm -hmm. That is who we are. This great one, Master Far Muhammad. Let me let me give y'all a picture of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad so we know who we're talking about. That's right. Come on now. That's him. Come on. That's that dream. Come on now. Come on, praise I do to One of them. <clears throat> but the one who came, again, because we all up in the scripture, right? Yes, sir. The one who came and taught him, the one who gave us that pure boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Master Fard Muhammad. He in the book, too. That's yes, right. Absolutely, yes, sir. Oh, praise yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Son of man, go ahead. Come on. Who, who was styled as lightning? 
Mm. Yes, sir. Go yes, ahead. Sir. Mm. Shining. <laughs> From the east. Come on. From right the east. east. Unto the west. In your Bible, that's right. In your scripture. Yes, sir. Lightning, because he showed up. Man, it was real quick. quick. Real quick. <laughs> real quick. Yeah, when his quick. impact was man. Three years, man. <laughs> He's that son of man who comes like a thief in the night. night. Yes, Y'all all right? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. A thief in the night. Why? Because he looks like a white man. That's right. On the surface. On the surface. On the surface. But he's a black man showing up. Showing yeah, up. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. We come in all shades and colors. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on. But Allah knew that he had to come this way in order for black people to accept him. Yeah, that's right. We want to go and accept no, no blue black brothers no, talking about no, the white sir, man the devil. <laughs> that was not going to happen. That was, no, we were too steeped in self hatred to ever accept that. That's right. Anything black. Man. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. All, man. all praises to all the black man. Amen. So that's Jesus, the Son of Man. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the Jesus, the exalted Christ, sitting yes. at the right hand of the Father. Come on. Say that. Here's one right now. You can get to know right now. Come on now. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Come on. This man, man, look. <laughs> I can bear witness. I mean, I just shared some of his words about that 666 piece. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who, who gave him that? Come on now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. How do you figure that out? I mean, just think that over now. Like, he picked that. I, I didn't come up with that. 2,000 years and multiply it, dude. Divided by 36. That's it, six, six. Back to that number again. This man is the Messiah. Come on now. Go ahead. The Messiah. You don't need to look for another one. Mm -hmm. It's right in front of you. The Messiah, of course, is styled as a priest and a king. And a king. Yes, sir. Yes, Come on. But the most important thing is he is anointed mm. to do the work That's that right. he's doing. That's right. Yes, That's right. You hear what I'm saying? Like, like, look, man, as a student minister in the Nation of Islam, I serve at the pleasure of the Honorable Come on now. Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No doubt. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A priest and a king, but not like King Charles. Right? No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> God makes kings. That's right. Right? Yes, right. But, his, but the, the, the kingdom of God, man, is, is not like the kingdoms of this world. Say mm. that. The kingdom of God is, uh, is all about being uh, righteous. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all about lifting up your fellow brother or your fellow sister. Yes, it's all about walking in the way of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. See, kings uh, uh, in, in Europe, you know, we got, they got subjects. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Come on now. They got yes, people sir. who are below them. Yeah. They touch them. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, I guarantee you, if you would meet him today and you bow and say, It's such an honor to meet you, Brother Minister, he would bow low. He sure will. Oh, That's, right. That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Yes, sir. See, that's the type of king that we need. I mean, look, I, I serve that brother. Come on yes, now. Sir. You and I yes, both. Sir. That's right. That's because right. he serves us. Allah. And he serves us. That's right. And he's been serving us. That's right. You know, <laughs> for the longest, man. Almost 70 years. Nobody and this beautiful black man, man, he, uh, almost 90 years old. Yes, May 11th. May 11th. Oh, hey, brother. Look at him, though. Still looking young. Look at him. Because, look, 
He's in, in the book too, in Quran. Because look, they said, they t also told Mary that they was going to give her this pure boy, but he would serve from the cradle to the grave. Right? As a young man to old age. That's the Bible. That's the Quran. Yes, sir. This man came into the nation of Islam as a young man. 22. But now he 90. Yes. And he still serves. Come on, give it up. Give it up. I love talking about Minister Farr. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. Because, oh man, signs. There are so many of the prophets that are a sign of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So many. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's Aaron in the scripture. Aaron was Moses' brother. Is that right? Yes, That's right. right. Aaron was a minister who was very eloquent. While Moses was a man who had a stammering tongue. He had a speech impediment. And so he prayed, man, <laughs> to Allah to loosen the knot in his tongue and give him a, a helper, an aider in Aaron, his brother. And Allah answered his, answered his prayer. He tells him in the Quran, your, 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 your petition is granted, O oh Moses. Yes. Is that right? Yes. That's right. That's right. Well, did you all know that in 1954, Come on. 1954, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, who is a man like Moses. He is a man like Moses. Because Moses was a sign of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Sure. At Savior's Day, publicly, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad prayed for a little helper. Praise be to Allah. That's right. Uh, yes, publicly. <laughs> in 1954. Yes, sir. And in 1955, it's Savior's Day, as a Savior's Day gift, in walked the Honorable Man, all up in it, man. In fact, and I'm going to say this, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, not only is he, does he fulfill the sign of many of these prophets, Aaron and Peter and Jesus and companions of the prophet Ali. I mean, we can get, we can go deep now. But he actually is. Are y'all ready? The master of the prophets. Yes. That's deep. That's deep. And that will require a whole nother uh, lecture. <laughs> <laughs> but as we study, yes, sir, beloved. As we study, study the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in relation to the prophets. I mean, man, it's, it's, it's powerful. It's powerful. But I'm going to conclude because these brothers keep timing me. <laughs> In conclusion, family, the sign of the times is that we must get up and do something for self. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We have to flee to Allah. And the minister says this, and then we wrapping it up. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. All praises be to our God. The minister says this. This is a warning. And he says this in this article in the, in the Final Call newspaper. But if you continue to rebel, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad warns of a heavy chastisement that you will be under that will last one whole year. It's written in the book of Revelation. 
that in that year you will seek death and you will not find it for death will flee from you man it's on the way so come on buckle on your boots and shoes <laughs> and let's go to work and do something for ourselves that is And with that family, listen, I, I, I could go more, but... We understand. <laughs> <laughs> all praises to Tola. I hope and pray that you all um, received something that you learned. Yes, sir. Something. Um, and I hope that the message was delivered in the spirit that I wanted to deliver it. Um, but I want to, again, thank you all for spending your precious time for coming out and uh, sharing with us today. I'm going to leave you as I greeted you in peace. As-salamu alaykum. Your brother Herman Supreme Style Muhammad. Just wanted to drop in and let you know what we have going on. In addition to our community work, um, that we've been doing for years and in addition to being the sole proprietor of Supreme Style Barbershop where we've been serving the community for close to 25 years now we've partnered up um, with an insurance company called Ethos in an effort to help our people uh, with life insurance that's something that we all need I know it's something that we don't want to think about, but it is something that we all need if we want to leave anything to our loved ones when we leave this space. So do me a favor, click on the link or go to our website, astar2.com and click on the ethos page. We'll see you on the other side.